Okay, we've got a dirty 2013 F-150 EcoBoost with the V6 twin turbo. Uh, I'm going to be installing a dual catch can system. I had gone online, I saw a bunch of videos that people had done installing catch cans and the majority of them were inside the engine compartment, a few were out front here by the radiator where I'm going to put mine. Um, I like them all front by the radiator for a few reasons. One, you can mount the cans lower so gravity takes effect and anything that's in the line definitely goes to the can. Um, the other thing is I'm short, 5'7", so I'd have to get a small step stool every time I wanted to check the, the uh, uh, level that's inside the can or empty it. So, now the other thing I did was when I was researching these cans, um, this style can, everybody was saying, worked great. Um, you can get them for as low as I think I saw them for $18 or $19 each on eBay. But I opted to pay a little more, and I'll tell you why. The filtering system in these is actually a brass filtering unit instead of just a plastic cap and people put steel wool in there. So that upped the price on these about 10 bucks by going with that. These also came with aluminum mounting brackets. Now, you can see I notched the brackets a little. And I'll show you the other side. So that they would fit into these locations. And they fit in perfectly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop and I'll come back when I get the cans mounted okay. in. We're back and I've got the catch cans mounted. You can see that I cut the aluminum plates out a little to make them fit in nicely. Then I took some quarter 28 um, cap head screws and used them to mount at the top. You can see both sides. Each side had to be cut out just a little differently because this sensor right here faces to the right on this side and it faces to the right on the other side. So that's the only real difference. Up here was the same, it was just opposite. So there they are mounted. Now you'll also know that there's usually a piece of rubber that goes across here for deflecting the air for the radiator to help with cooling. Well, you also probably know if you own one of these trucks, they don't last a couple of years and they just start ripping apart. They're made really, really crappy. And to buy new ones is probably, I don't know, $60, $80. So I'm going to make some of my own that kind of fit around here when I'm done. And I'll get shots of that too. But there they are mounted. And then we will come back when we are done with the next step. And I'll show you the next step. Okay, we're back. The system's in. There's your left catch can. Your right catch can. Okay, so let me get a ladder because I'm really short. And I can show you what we did here. Alright. So, here's your intake. This comes out of the left catch can and goes into the intake. There's a one-way valve right here. I don't think you can see there's a little arrow pointing that way. That stops the back pressure from the intake during turbo from pushing back through there. So you need a one-way valve. Um, this is half-inch inner diameter fuel hose. I bought a roll of it on Amazon. AC Delco was cheaper than buying it per foot. I used approximately a total of 16 feet of hose in this whole thing. So, and I reused the GM connectors that were already on the engine. And by the way, yes, the engine cover is already off. So, this one comes on the outside of the can, and this one goes to the inside of the can. So then, there's plenty of room. You just feed them up. I put a couple tie wraps along the way to hold them up, and then I just came out and looped it. Now, I haven't put a tie wrap on these, and I don't want to kink them. The hood closes. Everything's fine. Um... I used hose clamps everywhere. You saw in the other video how I had um, done the aluminum brackets to fit in here. And I'd also mentioned that after I get done with this today, I'm going to start making my own rubber um, mats that go in here to direct the airflow because the old ones were all chewed up. So in another video, I'll, I'll show how I did that. But for now, so that's your left catch can. And then your right catch can. I'll show you up here. Let me get the... Okay, 
So on this one, your, your valve cover goes to your in. So this one right here goes into the can and then the bottom one comes out and goes to the, uh, excuse me, the bottom one goes to the out on the can. So the bottom, the out feeds in to the, I think it's the air intake down there. You can see it. And again, I use both connectors. So you've got, this is the into the, to the catch can and this goes to the out of the catch can. And again, I use the factory connectors. Now the factory connectors have these plastic hoses on them. Okay, so what I did was, this is zoomed in too close, let's see. There we go, much better. Okay, I used this Milwaukee heat gun and then I rotated these with the ends on them and just focus the heat in this area on high for about 15 seconds to soften this up and then I pulled the connectors off. Now when I put the connectors on the half inch ID hose I use some of the clear glide made by Ideal. They use this for running electrical wires just to make them slip on easier and then I also have the the hose clamps on every connection. Um, and then I use 8 inch tie wraps to tie it up. I mean all pretty simple. Um, I will give you the links to everything I use. Now, this AC Delco is 25, a 25 foot box of half inch ID fuel hose. Um, it's just Gates fuel hose in an AC Delco box. Um, that's what AC Delco uses. But this whole box costs far less than buying 16 foot by the foot, which range anywhere from $2.85 a foot to $6 a foot at an auto parts store. So I think this whole box was like. 25 or 30 dollars but again I'll put the links to everything down below and once again you've got your left side your right side and we're gonna put it back together now and for those of you that don't know all you have to do to get the engine cover off is you take the oil uh, cap off the filler and then lift up on the cover and it comes off so I'm gonna get that all back together now and if you have any questions leave them in the comments and thanks for watching